in his quest to locate the life for everlasting, Ponce de Leon and his group of explorers traveled to the southeastern peninsula that is known as present-day Florida. Although their search for the Fountain of Youth came up empty, those explorers did find sandy beaches and sunny skies that have been known to turn simple mortals into bronze gods. In fact, one of those modern-day gods currently resides on the western coast of Florida, walking the halls of Tampa's Jefferson High School. Bill Jones has the story. By glancing at this UV'd creation with his long blonde locks and chiseled frame, you would think you were staring at Brad Pitt's character Achilles from the movie Troy. But closer examination finds that he's no god, but he's not human either. He's the Dragons fearless leader, quarterback Steven Garcia. I know he's got a, a fascination for Greek mythology and, and um, he, he loves the movie Troy. And I don't know if you witnessed what it was, but we got a little secret handshake that we did. If you've ever watched the movie Troy, you'll understand where it comes from. Um, but he does like Greek mythology. In fact, we nicknamed him Achilles because he, he, I believe it was Brad Pitt that played the part. And, and uh, as you'll see in the last where I think the hair comes from. And, and uh, But he's really into Greek mythology. I know he listens to that soundtrack before every game. It's kind of a superstitious kind of thing. and, and uh, you know, so I know he enjoys that. In fact, Garcia enjoys it so much, he's basically turned himself into a throwback type of player. But he doesn't represent athletes from the 60s or 70s. His throwback dates all the way to 220 B.C. This is the uh, replica of Achilles' sword. He's got a dagger under his bed. He's got a sword right there. When we watch, when we, when I was staying with him, we were like riding his truck and hear the TV player. We watched Braveheart and Troy every single day for like two weeks straight. And I, he's obsessed with it. He can call his phone. He has his ringtone from Braveheart, and it's crazy. That movie just it, it inspired me. I mean, I can't really think of another word to describe it. You know, living at that time back then is just I don't know how they did it. And you know, to get where we're at today is just unbelievable. And that's where it started. You know, with the Greeks and all that. So. I don't really know, you know, it's Troy and I started growing my hair after that. The second part is when he gets the second water. Why? Watch when he douses his hair. And the thing that I most want to mold myself after Achilles is probably his fearlessness. Afraid of nothing, I mean, he'll go against anybody. And, you know, I've read the Iliad over and over again and he just keeps talking about that. And, you know, that's what I want to mold myself after. I don't want to be afraid to pull the trigger at one point or another or tuck it and run. I mean, I just just want to play off instinct and I think that's pretty crucial to the way I play. Those instincts seem to be paying off on the football field. As a junior, Garcia threw for almost 3,000 yards and 28 touchdowns. But it's not just his arm that carries him. Like any true warrior, Steven is quick on his feet, possessing 4-6 speed. He also rushed for 700 yards and 8 scores. With such a complete arsenal, those who have seen him play compare him to a modern-day warrior in the NFL. He's more like Brett Favre because he's got the arm, he can sling it in there, sometimes he throws it a little bit too, too much, puts a little bit too much extra sauce on it. Um, but because, and then there's are times where he does make a couple of mistakes because he is trying to force it, like Brett would do, but is, is he a leader on the field? Does he have a commanding presence? And at the end of the day, do you have to account for him? Yeah, that's, that, that's all Steven. He can do whatever he sets his mind to it. If he stays healthy, in five years I see him in the NFL. He's, he's very smart, um, and kids at the quarterback position, you, you have to be smart in order to run a, a football team. When it comes to Garcia's intelligence, smart doesn't exactly do him justice. Both of his brothers attended Harvard, and Stephen has been using his intellect to prove that sometimes the pen is mightier than the sword. We try to put him in the upper, the upper level classes so that he's not as bored, um, because if he is in those regular classes, then he's going to be bored, he's going to be a behavior problem, and, and we don't want that to happen, so he needs to put forth his natural ability. Um, he is not one that wants to, I don't think, go to Harvard per se. He is, is one that wants to have more fun and be the football star and, and so forth. But there, there's other responsibilities that go along with that. Steven has shown an ability to balance homework and, of course, football. It's those qualities that have made him a marked man by colleges such as South Carolina, Florida, and Oklahoma. He loves it. I mean, everybody that asks him, Steven, you know, is, this, is this too much? Are you able to handle it? 
He absolutely loves the attention, and he always has. It's awesome. I mean, you know, some people, I don't really know how that bothers people, but, you know, it really never bothered me. I mean, I'm very controlled. Like, I'll call somebody and then, you know, wait a couple of days, call them again. I mean, I'm not always talking to recruiters. I'm not always talking to the media, but... You know, I'm just enjoying it. I'm enjoying the ride. You only get to do this once, so I'm enjoying it. But Steven almost missed all the attention that is given to quarterbacks. When he first started playing football, coaches knew they had a special player. But where to put him was the debate. Fourth grade, I started playing uh, running back. Played there for three years. Weren't very good. And, you know, those positions, I mean, it was fun, but, you know, it was Little League, so it really didn't matter. And then my eighth grade year, I started out playing receiver for the first three games. We went 0-3. And then uh, my friend's dad, who was an assistant coach, switched me from receiver to quarterback. And we ended up winning eight games in a row. Probably a good decision. He played, and from that day on, football was what he did. I mean, he'd sleep with the football in this bed right here, and there was not, nothing else. He'd go and throw the ball by himself, throw it in the air. I've only got one broken bone in my body. And it's that finger right there, Dr. Tom Green fixed it for me. He threw a spiral so hard when he was probably 11 that I almost had to quit pitching with him. And so it began. Gary may have been the first casualty of the Stephen Garcia empire, but he definitely has not been the last because just like his idol Achilles, Stephen seems to be determined to command and conquer everywhere he goes.